Honey here, and in this video I'll be telling you why Just Cause 2 was better than Just Cause 3 for a few reasons. Alright guys, reason one num number one, land diversity. If you have ever played Just Cause 2 and you have 3, you would know that Just Cause 2 is much diverse in land. Now as you can see, we are in Medici. All they have is islands, like uh, some mountain ranges actually, I think every island has a mountain. And some f plains and forests, that's it. Plains, forest, and mountains. And then there's way too much ocean in this map, like... They should involve boats more in this game because that might look like a small amount of ocean, but that's actually a lot. Like from where I am to the land... Okay, but well that's kind of close. From me to this island, look how far that is. All that ocean, and there's like really not much to do, to, to do in the ocean. Reason number two. Now I know this is more of an opinion, but I just I just like it better that there in Just Cause 2 there was more than one faction. The they had the Reapers who was red, the Ula boys who were yellow, and then the Roaches who were blue. It that was better than Just Cause 3 in my opinion is because in the final mission you got to pick who like you got to pick between the factions, you know, and in, in Just Cause 3 you only get to pick through pick one. Which I and, you know and some people Reason number three. So if you remember in Just Cause 2, around, uh, scattered throughout the entire map, there were 25 kernels that you had to kill. Now, I like this better because it made it feel like you actually hit, made a blow. Or, how do I make this sound better? Okay, made a blow to the military because you're actually killing high leaders. But, um, yeah, like Just Cause 3, there's not really any, like, important people you have to kill. Except, like, maybe, like, Zeno and DiRavello himself but yeah 25 kernels you had to kill and it was cool because they were they had their own group of soldiers guarding them and they usually were positioned in like their own mansion or just some or who's better than just because three is the capital I think this is just way too small to be a capital and you know, a capital is like supposed to be like a busy place in your uh, city but like look how barren the freeway is this looks like this is what like a regular city should have or even more this is just too le less of traffic to have it and what I don't like is like I mean I don't mind having a few towns here and there because that's normal in countries but for this the capital should be much bigger than this like look at that on the map that's so small compared to how big uh, Insulastriate is and the other two right guys I just noticed this right now and if you look on the map, oh, okay, so there are towns on here and here, and every town on Insulastriate is on the south. See, all the towns are here, there's a town. There's a lot of towns, actually. But on the north, there is nothing. The only thing in the north is, like, military bases, outposts, and then sometimes there might be a church here and there. But yeah, see, look, churches and outposts. All these are outposts. And there's like really, it's really barren up there. It's just old forest over there. And it's kind of a waste of the game, if you ask. All right, guys. Second to last reason why Justice 2 is better is this: in the northwest of uh, both the Justice 1 and 3 maps, there's a secret island in the northwest. In Justice 3, it was used for, which I have to say was a pretty epic final boss battle. But what I don't like about some parts of this game is that. After you beat the game, it really leaves you nothing else to do with it. Like, see, like, this is a cool place and all, but what what am I supposed to do? And the only thing I found on the island that actually has, like, civilization, or that's, I don't know, like a little outpost is this thing right here. With one car and one person only, like, I mean, what else are we supposed to do? And in Just Cause 2, if you remember, there was a mission on the island where... You had to go find, uh, discover something, and then there was uh, EMP towers, and there was Japanese soldiers from World War II. And also there was a lot of Easter eggs around the island, like secret vaults and um, bunkers and everything. That was pretty cool. But this is a cool place and all, but it's nothing to do anyway. Alright, all right, guys, well, my last reason here is no Mile High Club. If you guys remember from Just Cause 2, the Mile High Club was probably the best... One of the best places in the map to go to, whether you're bored or you just like to enjoy the dances they have. 
Well, they had an, its own runway, and then bartenders who had shotguns, and then also some strippers in the bottom if you want, if you were into that. And yeah, like, there's a pretty cool runway, and this is what they give us in Just Cause 3. The ruins of the Mile High Club. At least the logo's still open, but, um, yeah. And then you could all, I, I think this, I don't know if you could do this with other ones, but I think this is an Easter egg right here. Oops. You could use, uh, last time I was here, I was able to ride that, ro like a rodeo. But oh well. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe for more co content. And also, I'm thinking of making a video about a few reasons why Jessica's 3 is better than Jessica's 2. But I'll do that maybe if I get, like, one like. If I get one like, I'll make that video. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.